What's up guys, welcome back to The Home Slice. Got another video testing some more different straps today. It's part two. What did we learn from the first one? I did all diamond and mostly just on denim, actually all on denim with the first one. It seems that with these soft Victorinoxes, the giving nature of the denim, doing 10 passes on each side, seemed to either create a foil burr that led to a best of about 150 grams or over rounded the edge. So um, this time I have spent a little bit less time on the Spyderco Ultrafine. I use the Ultrafine again because it lays a consistent foundation and it's a good adhesive wearing stone. It's also one that probably leaves a little tiny bit of foil burr that a strop could be helpful in cleaning up. So I've taken a little less time this time because I, I figured we're trying to see not if you can like make something almost perfect on the stone and then make it absolutely perfect with the strops. The real question is, how do these reduce a best number? Maybe that's even higher. So this one is 204, and this one's 190, and the Warncliffe tested at 176 grams. So I'm gonna take the highest best testing one and do my most aggressive strop, and then on down the line, and we'll best test in between. I'll probably speed the whole thing up and then whichever edges end up working the best, um, we'll take to the hanging kangaroo strap and see if we can get even a little bit of extra out of it. So my most aggressive strap that I'm using in this today is gonna be the denim with Mother's Mag. So we're gonna take this 204 and we're gonna give her 10 strokes each side and see what happens. I've got rid of the non-stick pad because I was wondering if some of the rounding was occurring because of that level of squish that was underneath the non-slip pad. Um, we'll see if it makes a difference. Things should be flatter today. All right, all right. Starting off with my traditional flat denim with Mother's Mag. This is the one that started at 204 grams best. Let's see how far 10 strokes get it down to. That, ladies and gentlemen, is why I really like Denim Strop with Mother's Mag. 108, I'm gonna leave that one untouched for the room. 204 of 108. That is awesome. Wow. Okay. So right out of the gate here, we're just seeing bigger gains than we saw all test last time. The adjustments that were being made to the edge on the last test with denim and diamond were on the order of 20 to 30 grams off the best machine and that mother's mag shaved off nearly 100 grams. So right now we've got some kangaroo leather loaded with five micron veneer paste and you see something consistent with the other tests of diamond pastes so far in this series. This Warncliffe Victorinox started out at 176 grams on the best machine. This is the first strop that it has undergone and it is on some double ply cardboard loaded with some mother's mag and aluminum polish. Now I should say an observation that I've made is that these flatter strops tend to not make the score worse. And this is a little bit better than most of the diamond numbers. It dropped down to 132, that's shaved off 44 grams from the best. This is some denim again, but instead of a hard diamond abrasive, I'm using some normal green waxy compound you'd use for like a buffing wheel or something of that sort. So that started out at 190, the 5 micron diamond took it down to 155, and it's dropped an additional 38 grams down to 117, which is quite good. 
We're moving on to five micron veneve diamond paste loaded into a pine block. I know that balsa and basswood are better. I just don't have any around at this moment. If you would like to send me some, you would be most welcome. But this guy started out at 132 and has dropped a little bit extra. And I think I see overall that on the flatter straps, you tend to damage the edge less. On the denim with that squishy non-slip pad under it, you saw a lot of numbers becoming worse, especially with the larger abrasives. With this, you see that's basically the same reading, 127 to 128. The, the best accuracy is probably not down to one gram. So you could say that they're nearly the same reading. And I, I found that a lot today using harder straps and smaller abrasives. If you're careful with your angle, it tends to not mess up your reading but the changes can be very minimal between the different ones aside from some standouts of course i think in general in this research what i'm noticing is that a more flexible strop with a softer abrasive seems to be better for large scale deburring kind of like we saw with the denim and mother's mag what I am also finding though is that I think for refining the edge after you've got that burr gone, smaller abrasives with harder, flatter stropping substrates are good. This has gone down by 24 grams just on the rue to be at 100 grams. Now, Vadim Krychek in his research found that 100 grams is really a breaking point for conventional steel. Conventional steel, if it comes out under 100 grams, it means it is basically 100% deburred. And so this one and that one are either nearly there or fully at a point of being so deburred that there's no damaged metal underneath of the apex. I forgot to touch up this pink one, so I'm bringing it back. This is the one that came straight off of the denim with Mother's Mag down to 108, and this has hit a reading of 95 grams best. Not only could you be pretty confident that this edge right here is cleaned up of all damaged metal and burr, but you could also be pretty confident that it's going to handle strain and shock much better than an edge over 100 best. So this is really cool. I'm really pleased with this reading. I also took this pink knife into the kitchen, cut up a few tomatoes and a couple of bell peppers and onions and different things that you can see the sharpness of it and i was actually quite pleased with the progression of it so i'm really pleased with the results of this test and much better results than the denim test with diamond only so i think we're, we're going to do several more of these and carry on with some higher quality abrasives and we're just going to see if we can come up with a sort of optimal combination that gets you under 100 bess and then see how much it's beneficial to apply that to dual grit edges. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to catch the last drop video, it's on screen now. Otherwise, peace out from the home slice. Take care, guys.